Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about some of my favorite YouTube channels that focus on piano and music in general. Some of these are pretty big channels, so you might know some of them, uh, but some I think are smaller channels that deserve more recognition. The first channel I'd like to talk about is Adam Neely's channel. So Adam is a bass player from New York, a professional musician, and his channel tends to focus not just on bass playing, but actually on musical concepts in general. Uh, he does some theory, you know, and sometimes delves into the, I'd say, odd or peculiar side of music. Uh, he also talks about his experiences as a musician, and pretty much everything he puts out is extremely well thought out and produced and generally researched. So it's a real pleasure to listen to his videos. I mean, and he's also a really, really uh, fantastic musician. I mean, I, I've come to know him through his um, Sungazer band, and I'll just play you a little clip here, and you can decide for yourselves. Next channel on the list belongs to a classical composer called David Bruce, and he talks a lot about classical music and orchestration and composition, but also about quirky little things like, for example, the use of Fibonacci sequences in music. So it's a really wide range of sort of the brainy sides of music, and I already said that I'm naturally drawn to the more brainy sorts of channels. Uh, just like Adam Neely, he really puts out well-researched and well-produced videos. So again, pretty much anything he puts out turns out to be a worthwhile watch. I almost always learn something interesting just by watching one of his videos randomly. Next channel on the list belongs to Amy Nolte, who's a jazz pianist and singer. And I actually have a confession to make. Uh, I actually interviewed her for my channel uh, a while back, but unfortunately we had some issues with the recording and it never actually came to fruition. But I really enjoy watching her videos and I think that if you're interested in jazz piano and jazz theory in general, you should definitely give her channel a, a look. You know, not only is she a professional musician, uh, but she's also uh, a teacher. I mean, she teaches regularly. And I think that's really reflected in her channel. So as you watch her videos, you not only get the idea that she really knows what she's talking about out of real experience, but that she's also put the thought in on how to actually present these topics in an understandable way. You know, if you, you're interested in actually learning jazz, piano and theory. So definitely worth a, you know, a check. The next channel is a pretty small one, it belongs to a guy called Alex Ball, and you know, I think he only has a few thousand subscribers at this point in time. But in my opinion, he deserves, you know, at least two orders of magnitude uh, more than that. Uh, first of all, he's an incredibly talented musician, but the real sort of place where his ch channel shines is he does a lot of orchestrations using virtual orchestras. So he, he writes for orchestras, but he implements it using virtual libraries and VSTs. And you know, he's, a, he's a real master at doing that. So you can learn a lot about orchestration by following his channel. And he has these really great videos, these guides, on how to write for the orchestra, you know, thinking as a computer musician. So definitely, definitely something I urge you to look at. And he also has, again, really great standards. I wish my standards were as good as some of the channels I'm presenting here on this list. Uh, he also has one other nice thing that he really creates a lot of synth-based music. And he makes these little quirky clips that I personally really like. And of course, I also like the music itself that he composes. So by all means, if you're interested in orchestration or in synth-based uh, creations and just old synths, uh, you should really give his channel uh, like, just a go. 
just go and watch some of the videos. Uh, a great channel I sometimes look at for theory related stuff is called 12 Tones. And this guy is, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a guy who writes or explains music theory related concepts. Uh, he does so by basically, I mean, he obviously knows what he's talking about as you watch his videos, uh, but he does it really efficiently. I mean, he really gets to the point in like the minimal amount of time. It's not some sort of rambling guy. He writes everything out like uh, with using the appropriate music notation. And I, I think his videos are, again, really well thought out. I mean, it takes a lot of effort and time to learn or to know how to explain a complex concept in a short amount of time. And he has really put in the effort and the time that it takes to do so. So again, if you're interested in music theory or you just want to sort of expand your vocabulary and understanding, I'd really recommend uh, having a look at this guy's channel. The next channel isn't really an educational channel, uh, but I really felt like I should include it just because I watch it quite a lot. Uh, it belongs to a musician called Lewis Cole, and he has also solo work, and also he's a part of a band called Nowhere. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned them in at least a few videos on this channel. But in my opinion, he's an absolutely, absolutely phenomenal musician. I mean, off the charts uh, in, in terms of, I think, both artistic vision and musicianship and, and skills. Uh, he's, you know, I, I totally envy his technical abilities as a drummer, as a songwriter, as a keyboard player. Uh, and. I just really enjoy listening to his music, so I really think you should try it. I mean, just go, I mean, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with his work, go and have, go over to his channel and have a listen. He has a, an album coming out on August 10th of this year, 2018. So again, I urge you, this is a great time to go over there and actually check it out. And if I can get him new subscribers or fans, then I feel like I've done a little bit of my duty here on YouTube of exposing you guys to really, really worthwhile musicians. Uh, another sort of a godfather of YouTube as far as you know, music education goes is uh, Rick Beato and he has a channel. I mean, this guy uh, used to produce professionally and you know, is now sort of semi-retired, I guess, and shares his knowledge and understanding here on YouTube. Uh, he has a really sort of outgoing personality and he's really sort of energetic and enthusiastic about the stuff he learns so it really rubs off on you when you watch his videos uh, and you know of course he really understands the stuff he's talking about so again it's always a joy to watch someone who knows his stuff and is passionate about it and I, I think his channel definitely qualifies uh, and I, I highly recommend that uh, if you're interested in music and sort of the theoretical side of music and understanding the connection between concepts and just having you know a more well-rounded understanding as a musician, uh, you should definitely uh, go and check out his videos. Finally, last guy on the list, uh, again not an educational channel but I just enjoy it quite a lot so I thought it would be worth uh, a share. A guy called Seth Everman, uh, he has more subscribers than I can ever hope to have. So he's obviously more famous than me, but again, it's just fun to share this sort of stuff. He has a really dry sense of humor. And of course, all of his videos uh, are sort of music related. He plays the piano and the synth. Uh, and he just has, he just, it's just fun to watch. I mean, he just has a really uh, sharp and dry sense of humor. And I think, uh, his facial expressions are part of the the visual treats or the visual side of things. So I'll put the link in the video description and if you want a good laugh just click on it and hopefully you'll enjoy him as much as I do. That's it for today. I hope I've exposed you to some interesting channels you weren't aware of and that you know, go out and check out some of these creators and 
uh, educators and musicians and scholars. And there, there's really a, you can spend an infinite amount of time on YouTube and, and just keep learning stuff. But I also think it's important to sort of help each other find the worthwhile channels. And there are, again, there are people out there who really produce high quality content. And I, I hope I've shared some of them with you today. That's it. I'll see you next time.